Okay, so uh, I'm a chef, but I have this complete fascination of how food can be more than just a great meal. Uh, all the elements and details that go into dinner um, have an emotional element to it that I like to really pursue and um, really just mend so everybody has a complete experience. Uh, emotionally, but you're probably wondering what this is. Uh, this is what I decided to do with my Christmas tree. Um, so, because the you know the time of Christmas, you have this you know sense of home, and it's a great time. And plus, when you walk in your house and that smell, you're like, oh my god, I gotta capture that. So I, instead of throwing a tree away, I created an oil, and this is the dish that I did um, to go with it. So it was the Christmas tree oil with some ice cream of uh, brioche salami uh -huh. cheese, uh, four textures of um, pear, some walnuts, and uh, puffed buckwheat. So every bite and every taste had the smell of the Christmas tree in it. So uh, I just did a dinner, and this one I created LA's first snowball. Um, so, but it's melting quick. So with that concept, I um, the inside, when you cut into it, melts and comes pouring out, which is actually kefir, lime leaf, and lemongrass inside. The outside is, um, is coconut mousse, and it's yogurt snow with pomegranates. Um, I'm, much into design and working with a lot of designers from around the world. Uh, this is a piece by Katja Bremkamp, and it actually fits in with two hands and you separate it. The top part is a bowl, and the bottom part is the uh, spoon. That So you pick it up and you, have, you carry a little bowl in your spoon and you just eat it right out of there. So it's very personal. And um, this is by Andreas Fabian. He's, uh, uh, he has a PhD in spoons. <laughs> I'm serious. And so this one, he was like, Robert, so I have this new idea, this is what I want to do. I said, okay, let's do something. So the beauty thing about this, it lies on the table, but as you take it to your mouth to drink it, your whole nose goes inside and you get this beautiful aroma. And um, this is a, a, another thing that he did. It's actually uh, made of a specific plastic and it has, it's a two bowl full. And from there I can completely distinct two different flavors while you're eating and it becomes, it becomes a whole different experience. Plus, you know, the inner kid in you said, this is really me. So <laughs> even pushing that further on the emotional elements, I created for the London Design mm. Festival Resort Space on Emotions. And this actually came from having a conversation with four women about food. And there was one that was really quiet. Well, we mentioned chocolate and she went nuts. And I said, wow, chocolate's really powerful, as a lot of you women know. So and after that, I went to uh, create something that was very precious and beautiful, but all the flavors, mm -hmm. colors, and everything I tried to capture, uh, and I created a dessert called Love Fragments. And um, it, the main flavor is rose petal and lychee. Um, mm -hmm. But when you sit down to eat it, it's a lot more grandiose, and that's what you get. And I actually created noodles that taste like rose roses. Instead of giving somebody a rose, why can't I eat it, right? So <laughs> I did that with other flavors of white chocolate and pine nut lychee, and there's a very rare oolong tea that you drink in Andreas's spoon, and, it has a, and I made it viscous so it would stay on the tongue a little longer. Um, this actually came from a trip to Alaska, and I was just staring at the glaciers, and they gave me this very, uh, it was very beautiful, but I felt a little bit uncomfortable in a way, because it was so beautiful, it was so quiet. So I created this dessert, and that's actually the dessert you eat, but I wanted it to look as if it was actually ice, and it's coconut and champagne. Um, I did another one called Velvet Tenderness, and I wanted to mimic the flavors that many cultures feel uh, when they're young, you know? And a lot, if you Google Velvet or Tenderness, you'll actually just get pictures of mothers holding the child. So this is actually a mom, she has three kids, but all the ingredients for the dessert are in her hands, and this is the actual dessert that you get which is actually a rice pudding ice cream that's infused with Indonesian cinnamon and it's a warm salted caramel. And in this spoon here is homemade almond lavender milk that you drink with it. I so all it. these flavors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the beauty thing is in, in London, when somebody had this, they actually, she started crying at the table. Which, so I guess it worked, right? Uh, yeah. So, so I'm, I, once again, as a design element, I have a few friends that are architects. And I said, you know, I'm sick of making cakes in a circle. I said, why don't I have to use somebody else's? So we got together and I wanted him to create, or help me create uh, a cake mold. So this is actually a cake mold and that's the cake. Uh -huh. And it's called Fragile and it's spray painted with uh, this beautiful white chocolate, but it has uh, lavender tea and brown butter almond inside, but it's basically a white peach mousse. But uh, aesthetically, I just wanted 
from, from the beginning to the end, I wanted somebody to have a different experience. And this is actually designed to go with a specific team from Taiwan. Um, so I have a dinner group, and even down to the menu, this is the menu that somebody received for the last concept. And I change concepts every time I do a special event, because what you do a great idea, time to move on. Um, but uh, I just couldn't do a white, plain menu. I like people to get interactive and say, what's this, and throw them off balance. Um, this was the first uh, dining setting I had in LA last year, and the lights were designed by uh, Roxy Russell of Los Angeles. But it had a very organic feel to the entire dinner. And um, as far as the table and the chairs, everything was extremely organic, and I created the menu to go along with it as well. This one is called Soundscapes, and um, I wanted to use the element of sound to really, really reinforce what people are feeling while they're eating, whether they know it or not. I even took the water uh, two days before, and I put, head, I put speakers on it with the binary beep frequency of the sun, so that way, because they say it's the ultimate frequency, so that way you would be just a little happier while you're eating. <laughs> um, this one is called Texture Lab, which actually came out from just a picture of some two different kinds of curtains that I saw. And from there, I realized how how texture affects us in food, the way something feels on a tongue, when something crunches. And I did the entire uh, dinner menu like that. Mm. Um, this was the last one I did a few weeks ago. It was called Dark Illuminated Forest. And I wanted people to walk into a completely dark room. And there was one entrance and 10 diners only. And I wanted them to feel completely nurtured. And I used everything is made from the forest. Um, in this, so it had to be very organic and um, like that. <laughs>